in New York. It's game four of the Eastern Conference semifinals on MSG. Cross River rivals the New Jersey Devils and the New York Rangers play game four tonight with the Rangers on the brink of taking a commanding three games to one lead. Hi, everybody. Mike Crispino for Rangers Hockey here on MSG. The Devils have dominated periods of time in this series, but they trailed two games to one. They have never lost three in a row during the grinding 82 regular game season. And now, let's bring in Sam Rosen and John Davidson on our first line for more on this game. Thank you, Mike. And uh, this is one of those games. Every game grows in importance. This one, the Rangers could take a big two-game lead in the series. The Devils could get even and regain home ice. And advantage. both teams remarkably loose yesterday and today when they prepared for this game. There's been a lot of talk on the radio and the newspapers, on television about goals and in the crease and everything else. The players themselves, though, when you talk to them, they seem to be the most focused of anybody, and they're certainly ready for this one. And both teams, though, first goal. It's so important. It's been important in this series, and it'll be important tonight. Well, obviously, the team that scored the first goal in all three games has won. That was Niedermeyer scoring on the power play in game one. The Devils won. Here's Leach scoring in game two on the power play. The Rangers won it. And then in game three, an even strength goal. Gretzky on the far side takes the lucky bounce, and he ends up scoring. Uh, you see the Rangers in the playoffs, what they've done when they score the first goal. The Devils have not led after any first period this season in the playoffs. And there you can see the teams that have had the lead the most, the Rangers so far in this series. Sam, I really think the Devils, for them, with getting the first goal, it would allow them more confidence and really settle into their game plan. On, at home or on the road, their game is the same. If they get the lead, they settle in and tighten up, and they're tough. Even Jacques Lemaire and the Devils have noticed that the Rangers have raised their level in the playoffs. You look at Wayne Gretzky, we know his offense, but he's playing both ends of the ice, John. You know, I don't know the last time I ever saw Wayne Gretzky this committed to defense. Offensively, he's still brilliant. Here he set up Portnell for a breakaway early. Marty Brodeur made a great save, a key save early for the Devils. Gretzky here sets up Tikkanen for a goal in front. Offense, yes, we've seen it. But look here with the Devils cycling. Gretzky gets behind Holik at the mismatch in sides. And he battles Holik, even though Niedermeyer jumped in for a shot. Gretzky in his own zone has been hit. He hasn't complained. The Devils have hit him a lot. And he hasn't complained. And he's been dedicated defensively more than maybe I've ever seen him play in his entire career. The other big factor for the Rangers, Mike Richter. He has the New Jersey Devils talking to themselves, trying to find a way to break through on him. There's been various times in all three games where Richter has made the difference. There, Randy McKay moved in, had two shots. Richter's also had, and he's very similar to Brodeur in the fact that they're both physically strong, both very athletic, and both can deal with a lot of traffic around the net. The Devils, this is a hockey club that loves to put traffic in front of the goaltender. Now, various times in three games, the Rangers have been dominated, but look who's made the difference. Mike Richter has stopped 97 of 100 shots in this series. He's been the biggest difference. Now, for the Devils, John, how do you expect them to play tonight? Oh, I think they'll play well. They're in a position now where they know they needed to win one of two games here in the Garden. This is another chance for them. They've made a, I think you'll see them go with more with four lines than they have in the past. I think they want to put the puck deep, cycle, and work, and dominate like they did in the third period of game three. Now, here's the play where you cycle. Puck in the corner, a drop pass by McKay. You'll see Holik get the puck. They vacate, find open ice. Gretzky's on him, and well, this is happening. Here comes Niedermeyer. I think you'll see the Devils throw the puck in with four lines and work and grind and try to make the Rangers lose their men in deep and try to wear the Rangers out down deep. That's their game, and they're good at it when they get it going. The Devils play as a team. They win as a team, but they're looking for someone to step up and take charge, and it could be Scott Niedermeyer. He was awesome in game three. Flat out awesome. He leads the team in the series with 13 shots. His skating ability is scary. He's also become tougher physically. He was taped measured skating from center ice back to his own goal line in game three one time sam he did it in 2.9 seconds 2.9 seconds that's how fast he is he's handed it out he's taken it he's fast and he i think is the biggest key to their offense the rangers know it the rangers say everybody hits brian leach we've got to hit niedermeyer they're the two best defensemen in this series the devils say this is almost a must-win game the rangers want to take charge of this series we'll be set to go right after this
three nine and three lifetime regular season and playoffs at the garden mike richter continues his superb play he is first goals against average first in save percentage among goalies in the playoffs this season are six and two in the playoffs. The Devils are five and three. Mark Fawcett is handling his eighth playoff game. Five in the first round, three now in the second round. Only his second Eastern Conference game. He is handling these two teams for the first time in the playoffs. Devils with one lineup change tonight. They've inserted Jay Pandolfo, number 20. And Dennis Peterson has been scratched from the lineup. Holy McKay and Thomas open up for the Devils. Rangers open with Messier, Graves, and Tikkanen. Leach and Bukaboom. Tikkanen with a long drive that's deflected by Sean Chambers. Chambers and Stevens on the fence. Stevens with a hit on Messier. Graves leaves it for Messier. His shot is blocked. Chambers goes for the puck and is hit by Tikkanen. Graves is tied up along the board. Takeaway, Parker Cross, Steve Thomas trying to clear, took a hit. Graves has it back. Parker seven Samuels has come on, and now the Gretzky line. Thomas played a lot. Thomas played a lot with Gilmore in game three of this series. This is Gilmore's first shift. They all have a different left winger in this game. Here's Gilmore around the net. Checked by Carpenter. He's got Pandolfo. A lot of speed. Pandolfo played a very strong exhibition game here last fall. And he's got a lot more speed for the Devils. It's Gilmore, Pandolfo, and McLean. Sundstrom to Robitaille. Robitaille checked by Niedemeyer. The shot by Lister goes wide. McLean plays it across. And taken back by Luke Robitaille. A minute and a half, but not a whistle. Looks like a very disciplined start. Ooh. Giveaway. Gilmore set up McLean. Saved by Richter. And a penalty. The giveaway resulted in a slashing penalty. And Richter makes the first big save of this game. And one into the ice. Lister took a shot that went just wide on... Martin Brodeur, and here the Rangers, uh, the result is the casual pass by Robitaille goes right to Gilmore, and as the shot taken there, Gilmore was slashed across the arm, and the Rangers will be shorthanded. Samuelson gets two minutes. Samuelson will get the minor penalty as he cuts across there and slashes the arm of Gilmore, and Richter made the save. No doubt about that penalty. Samuelson took the penalty after Robitaille gave the puck away. The Devils won for 15 in the series. That was a Niedermeyer goal. They need Dave Andrichuk on yeah. the power play. By the way, Andrichuk skated today for 20 minutes, and the Devils will know tomorrow as well Dave as to how his foot and ankle feels after one night of rest uh, after working it out today. Will it swell up? Will it be good? If it's good, David Andrichuk will love to get back in the lineup as soon as possible. And who can blame him? And they need him. Devils 0 for their last 12 on the power play. Since Niedemeyer scored the second period of game one, Rangers clear. Messier and Eastwood with Leach and Bukaboom for the Rangers. And Eastwood bowled over. He's bumped and went into Martin Rosor. Play continues. Gilmore on the puck. Now Niedemeyer toward the net. Blocked by Bukaboom. Eastwood able to clear. Big point for the Devils is on the power play. Don't kill a power play. Twice in game three, they were going to a power play, and they took penalty, and it nullified their power play. One thing the players talked about is discipline on the power play. Gilmore, Garen with the hit on Carpenter, McLean, Niedemeyer, and Chambers, the power play unit, taking it on with Graves. Rangers away with the puck, Graves and Leach. Chambers back, Graves winds up, kick from behind by Niedemeyer, big play. Can he skate? Wow. Works for the puck. Chambers comes away with it. Devils have 55 seconds to go on the power play. Bobby Olink has just come on. Gilmore still on. And Crawford sets centers, and it goes all the way through. Dean Thomas on. Lyle over line with a shot blocked by Crawford set. Big battle in front. Gilmore Crawford set. Over line again. It's blocked in front. Gilmore for the puck. Gilmore checked by Crawford set. The back pass to over line. Takes the shot. Why? Thomas goes for it. Dave Ellis gave it away to Gray. Can't clear. And it's cleared out. Thinking and got a piece of it. This morning at the Garden, the Devils worked on quick passes and shots by their defensemen. They wanted shots by their defensemen. So far, they can't get the shot through. I think that was at the middle line. At the middle line. I apologize. Yeah, thanks. That was driven up and out by Bukaboom. Rangers recover. Here's Messier across. The Sundstrom. Drop to Sundstrom. Chris shot. High. 
the glass. Now, Sam Brozdor had a little problem with that. Out of the penalty box, Samuelson seems for full strength. And his fans roar for the solid penalty kill by the Rangers. Thomas, all over him is Sundstrom. They battle for the puck in front of the Devils bench, but Thomas able to kick it back to Stevens from across the water line. Four minutes in, first period, no score. Give away to Gretzky. Brings it in. Now it's kicking in. He shoots, flies. Around the door, Leach. Leach shoots. Save for the door, and it's underneath it. A big save there. Scott Stevens on the giveaway. The Rangers, Gretzky, made it all happen. They're standing in the garden. Rangers get a power play on a cross check by Scott Stevens. And Brodeur getting the edges of the blades of his skates. Sharpened a little bit by the training staff. Scotty Stevens had trouble with Gretzky as he moves the puck here, flatly forced the pass. Gretzky intercepted it, and the Rangers went on the offense. Missed the net here, as you see, is the Tekin in shot. And then here's the good save by Brodeur through traffic. And then in front is where Scott Stevens took the penalty. He moves across. And there you see the cross check from behind on Flatley. Flatley forced the turnover and then drew the power play. And here's another look at the save through traffic and a good one by Brodeur. Rangers on the power play, 2 for 12 in this series. Puck is fired all the way down. Leach, driver, Gretzky, Courtnall, and Robitaille for the power play. And Sam Gretzky does not kill penalties. After a penalty kill for the Rangers, Gretzky comes on the ice and he flies. He's fresh. Yeah. And he helped make things happen for the Rangers. Officer and McLean, Danico and Niedermeyer for the Devils. Roll the five lines to the round, comes the driver, quickly on him, Carpenter. Danico got a piece of it in front, knocked away by Rodeur, cleared out by Carpenter to McLean. Back is driver, John McLean with a quick shot that Richter stops. And Courtnall back to the rebound. Driver got knocked down by McLean. Courtnall moving with the puck. Pass it off to Robitaille. Robitaille against Niedermeyer, around the Gretzky. Ralston is there, got a piece of it and brings it out. The driver back, it's Ralston and Gilmore, and it's broken up. Niedermeyer has it for the Devils. Good penalty kill here for New Jersey thus far. Gilmore slides it offside. New Jersey, 59 seconds remaining. And the cross-checking penalty to Scott Stevens. We're five minutes and six seconds in. First period, no score. The Devils have given up two power play goals in the series. The same four penalty killers have been on the ice. The defense pairing of Stevens and Chambers along with Carpenter and McLean. They've been the same four on the ice for the two power play goals of the Rangers. Here, however, the Rangers have had no setup time, not close to a shot on goal, and the Devils have been active flying. Now, here's another one of the players this time. It's Messier having his skate edge sharpened. A quick warning by the referee, Fossette, to get him on the ice and going. Sometimes the referee will tell Messier to get on a bench and get it done yeah. and not slow the game down. This time he allowed Messier to stay on the ice. Messier on with Gretzky and Graves. Park with seven leaps. Long shot stopped by Richter. Odeline took the shot. Odeline and Chambers off to the Devils now. Carpenter and McLean still on. Leach carrying the puck. Dumps it in. Chambers knocks it down and clears. Park with set for the puck. Back by McLean. Drops it for Leach. Leach pressed by McLean. Messier helps out. Messier to Carpenter. Long drive off the stick of the line. Played by Chambers. Down and goes it all the way out. That's the result of a bad dump in by the Rangers. Leach to Graves. Drops to Messier. On the Leach. Pretty pass. Across to Carpenter. He shoots. He scores! Got the 
together in the neutral zone to holding the stick penalty against oh, Simpson boy. right at center ice. Now, I, I can tell you last night, Brian Burke with the National Hockey League met with both coaches in Philadelphia before the game and talked about obstruction penalties regarding Philadelphia and Buffalo. Here, you see right off the face off, the devil, Simpson, who doesn't play a whole lot, takes a holding the stick penalty on Sherman. Let's watch. Right over here. Simpson, you can see Turla trying to get away. The question I have is how did Simpson lose his stick? I didn't see it. You can see that Simpson without his stick had a hold of Turla's and he called. Here's another look at the Rangers' goal. Just good pass work. Just pass. That's all it is. Three devils caught on the one side. You can see how Pot Carp and stuff had a lot of time to take the shot. And an accurate shot. Second power play for the Rangers. Here comes McLean. McLean moving in on Richter. Fights off the check and Richter got a piece of it. Lee hustling back. Devil pass three short and handed goals in the playoffs. McLean has one of those. Ralston the other two. And McLean's a big game player. That was a hustling play. McLean able to get it out of the zone. The goal graves from Parker seven. Lee came at 549. Then Simpson falls for holding the stick eight seconds later at 557. And again, McLean got the puck down the ice. He gave the Devils 32 seconds of excellent penalty killing. Gretzky, Graves, Leach, Driver, and Robitaille for the power play. Leach off his glove and out of the zone. Recovers in center. Driver holding. Gilmore, Ralston, Stevens, and Chambers for the Devils. Graves against Stevens. Robitaille intercepted, taken away by Chambers. There's Gilmore coming out with a puck. Gilmore holds it. Still some time. Beautiful move by Gilmore. That's outstanding control of the puck. Danico lifts it in. Richter bats it into the corner. Take it and plays it. The leak. 30 seconds to go to the power play. Seven and a half minutes into the first period. Rangers a 1-0 lead. The power play goal by Adam Gray. Fancy able to speed. Hooked by Niedermeyer. Niedermeyer takes it away. Stopped by Carpenter. Around the Messier. Messier against Niedermeyer. The pass off the skate of Carpenter. The shot goes wide. Leach took it. Messier's got the puck. 10 seconds to the power play. Messier shoots. Saved by Brodeur. And away comes Carpenter. And he clears. Graves got knocked down. Richter stops the puck. And the teams are back at full strength. Rangers one for two on the power play. A gigantic penalty kill for the Devils. They did a nice job. Nothing clean for shots. Only a couple from a bad angle. Offside whistled on the Devils. 11.52 to go. First period. Rangers have the early lead. Mike Richter faced John McClain coming down. And McClain was harassed somewhat on the near side by Brian Leach. McClain leaned into Leach. Leach knocked McClain off balance. And you see the catching glove saved by Mike Richter. That might have gone in. I think you're right, John. I didn't realize that until I saw the replay. Wow. Look at McLean work. I think he's just a terrific, get big, big, big game player. He kept his balance long enough to get the shot. Oh, the glove hand of Mike Richter knocked the puck wide. All right, John McLean has been a great player for the Devils for so many years. Nobody scored more playoff goals for the Devils organization than John McLean, and he very nearly had another. Samuelson, Carpenter, Eastwood, Churla, and Flatley on for the Rangers. One line back to the puck. Icing whistle against the Rangers. One of the keys on the goal, John, was the accuracy of the shot of Alexander Parker said well, the other night yeah. was in some other it was like, out. His shot was like a scatter gun the other night. Game number three, Tuesday night. He had lots of chances on the power play. There was some five-on-three shots that he had. This is the five-on-three for the Rangers. Look at the pass. Beautiful. The shot. Oh, baby. That one ended up on, in the Hudson River. This one a little closer. That one in the East River. <laughs> and then after that, this is during game three. Coley Campbell talking to him. This morning, Coley Campbell talked to Carpenter about his shot. There's a good low shot on the ice, and that allows the player to deflect it. Carpenter is a very short blade. I asked him one day, why you, what's your blade so short for? He says, here in the NHL, everything's so much quicker, shorter blade makes him work quicker. I don't know if it's a mental thing or what, but it worked for him. At least it's dead on the shot, and the grade deflected it. Billy Guerin steps in to take the face off now. Billy Guerin's only had one shot in the series. He needs to step up. Now, I think Niedermeyer's been the best player for the Devils, the forward for the Devils in this series. Like a Billy Guerin, needs to get his offense cranked up. You think 
his foot bothering him at all, John? Oh, that's a good I question. He had to fracture his toe. toe. Oh. Delapuka played hard. He's had the fracture of thumb or hairline fracture of the thumb. He seems to be okay. Flatley, good job by Eastwood to keep it in the zone. Centering pass all the way through. Danielson shoots. Blocked. Poked away. Devils regain control. Darren drops it back to over line. Interesting to see if the Devils go with four lines. We've seen a lot of power play times so far for both teams. Let's see if they get four lines going, move the puck deep, and grind it out. Carpenter knocked it away. Kept it. Carpenter gets a piece of it again. And Trello. Across to Samuelson. Lines up. Long shot wide. Gilmore. Let's go through the J. Pandolfo. Stops it. Pandolfo again. Would have been an offside. It is an offside on the double. 47 to go. In this first period, Devils have six shots. Rangers have three. Simpson moved, Simpson moved into Eastwood a lot. You know, Eastwood played a lot in the third period the other night. Gretzky didn't. And there's a good hit. Oh, Eastwood didn't see that one coming. That was a good hard hit. Good, clean, hard hit. Samuelson here has Garen move into him. There's Garen throwing a good check. In game two, he went up and took a penalty. That was a hard hit, a clean hit, and a hit that may have an effect in the third period. Both two hits, Garen and Simpson. Garen is big and yeah. strong. You hit like that and steal the penalty box, you'll do your, your team a favor. Malik McKay and Thomas for the Devils. Thomas against Kukabul. Good ride to the board. Good hit by Graves on McKay. Malik got the puck center. That goes in. The skate blade, and they're going to, they're going to review this and one. They, you know, McKay may have been in the goal crease. Remember this year, if it goes off the skate, it's a goal. Was he in the crease? Did he redirect it on purpose off his skate? This will be very interesting. McKay has always been around the goal crease in this series, and he is strong and hard to move. Remember, he got a goal with Robitaille on him before. He's, in, oh, he's already in the crease. crease. That'll be no goal. His foot was already yeah. in the crease, and I don't think it'll be a goal. John, unless they say he was pushed in. Yeah. Let's take a look. They're coming from behind the net. He's loose. He's on his own. He's in the, in the crease. crease. He comes. Yeah, it's no goal. It won't be a goal, Sam, I don't think. Boy, the Devils. The Devils in 1991 lost a seven-game series to Pittsburgh in the first round. The Penguins won the Stanley Cup. No goal. You can hear the crowd. The Penguins won the Cup that year. The Devils had five goals just allowed in that series. Imagine that yeah. three of them by Lori, Lori Bossman. Remember him? Yep. Uh, a high six and off the skates the whole thing. There's Brian Burke with a CBC Hockey Day Canada announcer, Scott Oak, is talking about it. See how he's in there? He's on his own. He's waiting. Here comes the, the puck hitting his skate blade directed in. It's no goal. And it's, there's no question there. It's a black and white rule. He kicks at it as his stick was up in the air. Time about McKay. Who, I'm telling, I think McKay's played so well he's earned more ice time. John, I was told this by Glenn Healy today, that the Rangers, in their meeting, every meeting they have, long shot by Stephen stopped by Richard Saint. Remember, stay out of the crease. Stay out of the crease. And they've been able to do that. Now, the Devils, unfortunately, have had three goals now. This is yeah. well, I mean, but, they're, but they're not bad breaks. They're in the crease. That was just a rule. Here's Bobby Holy. The shot goes wide. Got to be frustrating. The Devils crashed the net a lot. So, Thomas, saved by Richter, and it's cleared up the board. You know, that, brings it up. You wonder about it taking it away from the Devils' game. Their, their game is go to the net so much. It's got to be driving them nuts inside their heads about the goal streak. Because they're, they're a big team who loves to get near the net, find loose pucks, and this has got to be just driving them nuts. Gretzky with a steal. Controls the puck, plays it toward the net, saves Rodor. Deacon in is there. His shot, saved by Rodor, got a piece with a stick. Out comes John McClain. Gave it up to Sundstrom. Gretzky tips it ahead. Chambers and Gretzky go for it. Chambers around and ten down to go. Alpan's also able to clear the zone. Lister has it back. 9.15 to go in the first. Rangers leading one to nothing. They've been outshot eight to four. Giveaway by Gretzky. Gilmore left it behind him. Sundstrom able to get it to Gretzky. And now Driver. Double playing the trap here. Good work in the neutral zone and Driver put it in the zone. Giveaway by Danico. But Flatley's got to wait for Corno to get onside. Flatley has really worked hard for the Rangers. Uh, this is this type of game. It's a board game. It's a one-on-one -on -one game. Bobby Carpenter gets by Flatley. 
This pass blocked by Eastwood. Carpenter with a shot went off to start the seven wide. Lightly tied up along the board by Ralston. Zellapukin played it deep. Carpenter, Zellapukin, and Ralston for the double. Long line lost it. Portnall bangs with Dave Ellis. Ellis takes the puck back. Former teammates in Toronto, Dave Ellis, Russ Portnall. 8-10 to go in the first. As Lyle Oderline moves up, goes up the middle with it. Punch pass to Ralston. Nice pass to Simpson, but he was dead. Yeah, yeah, but who went flying? That's Simpson is one big kid, 220 pounds. On the line again. On the line, moves past Trilla. Take it down, penalty call. Bookaboom goes right to the box. That was on the line. The defenseman on the line drew the power play. The Devils have outshot the Rangers. 8-4, but trail 1-0. Bookaboom for hooking at 12.06 gives the Devils their second power play of the game. They're 0 for 1. You'll see Odelai make a nice stop here. Nice move, and you can see Bukaboom lost position and pulled him off balance. It's a nice move by Lyle Odelai to draw the penalty to one of the best defenseman penalty killers the Rangers have. This is earlier with Gretzky setting up at the Tekin and finding the rebound. And you can see Brodeur made the save, it looked like, on the turnaround shot by Tekin. And the puck actually got away from Brodeur there as Tekin got to it. Messier won the faceoff. Lister cleared the puck. Lister and Leach. Messier and Tekin into the Rangers. Double foul play has Holik, McKay, Thomas, Niedemeyer, and Chambers. This is Scott Niedemeyer with the puck. Yes, the power play goal in the playoff. Puck around the board. One against the Rangers. In game one, Leach with a takeaway. Stop by Chambers. No, it's outside the zone. Trickled out. Holik has it. Now Steve Thomas. Looks for shooting room, couldn't find it. Niedemeyer off the Messier State out of the zone. Randy McKay again on this portion of the power play was set up in front. He goes for a change, and on comes Zellapukin. Chambers has trouble with Eastwood. Eastwood and Graves on. Well, the Rangers want to challenge here. They want to try and stop the Devils from the easy access into the Rangers' zone. This time, Holy gets it done. Chambers to the line. Head for Zellapukin. Couldn't play it. Carpenter's done with a clear. Less than a minute to go on the power play for New Jersey. 6.50 to go, first period. Rangers with a 1 0 lead. And Gilmore's on now and he's fresh. Gilmore with Zellapukin and Garen. Garen, slowed down by Graves, kept it by Zellapukin. Gilmore, tied up with Samuelson, has the puck. Gilmore, looking toward the net. Zellapukin set up in the slot. Gilmore along the board comes in. With a puck on that side of the ice, the only line may sneak down. Long shot wide, comes to Garen. That went off of Richter, and it's cleared by Eastwood. That was a good play by Garen. He took care of Samuelson, got the puck off the backboards, and a good save by Richter. 15 seconds to go on the double power play. Careless pass, and it's taken back by the Rangers. Sends from across to Messier. Messier against Ellis. Messier left the puck behind, and old line comes back to get it, but the... Bukabum is back, double goes for two on the power play in the game. Off the end boards, Gilmore and Lister. Garen's got the puck. Check by Lister. Gilmore sets up McLean, but a good check by Bukabum. Leach moves it. Three defensemen on to the Rangers, and it worked. Yeah, well, Bukabum did his job. And again, again, the penalty kill's over. Gretzky comes on now, and he's fresh. Let's see if he has the shift where he shows the pressure. Lifted in the zone, all the line has. 5.25 to go, first period. Each team with two power play chances. That was also two Rangers, one for two, that pass across two lines. Right now, Mike Crispino is with the NHL Brian Burke. Mike. Thank you, Sam. He's the vice president of hockey operations. Lately, he's the vice president of in the crease rules. Tell us about Randy McKay. If he had deflected it off his skate and been outside the crease, would that have been a goal? A goal is disallowed if there's a distinct kicking motion, and that includes shoveling your foot forward toward the net I think the video goal judge probably told the referee that the player was in the crease and kicked the puck toward the net. So I think it would have been, in either case, the goal would have been disallowed. There's a look at it. He definitely did kick it towards Richter, and then it went in the net. I think so. And uh, obviously, whether he deemed it was kicked in with a distinct kicking motion or not, it's a crease violation, so it was a good call. All right, thanks to Brian Burke. Sam, back to you. Brian's been a very busy man. Hey, he's a sensible guy when, when, when you try and talk about goal crease and infringements with the goalies, but I still think that the rule in the crease rule is going to be changed a little. They'll be looking at it. General managers meeting during the finals. Ralston.
Samuelson was bumped. Samuelson moves it and it's out of the zone. Taken into Gretzky. Gretzky circles back. Gretzky has told his teammates, when he circles back like that, you pick up the speed. I slow down. I slow the other team down. You, as line mates, speed up. He said that's why he and Yari Curry had all that success all those years in Edmonton. Corvo came off the bench and, and game three, he spun around. Gretzky didn't slow down. Everybody else slowed down. And all of a sudden, here comes Corvo. 4.25 to go, first period. Go! Devils give it back to Bukovu. Devils have 10 shots on goal. Rangers only four. Rangers have the only goal. And that puck was touched with a stick above the shoulder. 4.14 to go in the first. one nothing Rangers. Remember when you're having good times with good friends, drink responsibly because friends know when to say when. A reminder from your friends at Budweiser. There you can see Coley Campbell having to stand up on a bench to see over his players to see who the Devils had on the ice. The Devils have their whole line. So at that point, Messier's out there. The Devils will change their defense as soon as possible to try and get Chambers and Stevens out there. Messier's out there and there's no Stevens. This is a rarity in this series. They skates it in. Perla had a good hit on Dave Ellis. That's the eight centers for Turlow. He's checked by Holy. And now the Devils' two defensemen will change. Yes, they do. Randy McKay. Steve Thomas with a shot to play wide. McKay to the puck centers. Turlow's there to win a second clear. Good chip for Shane Turlow. Bukovu knocks Stevie Thomas down twice. The Rangers zone. Thomas across. Stopped by Turlow. Turlow takes it. Check by McKay. McKay takes it and shoots. Saved by Richter. Turlow takes a hit from Holik, moves it around the board to Graves. Graves comes out with it. Adam Graves with the goal on the power play, the deflection. The Parker's that point shot. The only goal of the game. 20 to go for three. Now Gilmore. Offside, Devils. Shots are 11-4 for New Jersey. Want to remind you, the Yankees are on MSG2 playing the Texas Rangers. The other Rangers, check your local listing for the cable channel in your area. And don't forget the New York Knicks will be on MSG in their playoff run. We will have five of the seven possible seven games will be on MSG1. Some, some time of the year around New York. Gretzky in game three at 22 even strength shifts, 22 of them. Niedermeyer, the defenseman, was on the ice for 21. I'm sure Danico was right there with him. Yes. And Dougie Gilmore was on for 18 of those 22 shifts against Wayne Gretzky. Here, it's not. Yes, it is. Gilmore, I apologize. Gandolfo on the line, a little bit of a change. Adding some speed to the Gilmore line. This is more of a speed line with McLean and Gilmore and Gandolfo as opposed to some of the other lines for the Devils who have more big size on the line. And I think this is more of a defensive thing. Dougie Gilmore has only scored one goal in his last 21 playoff game. Games. That's a lot. And this year, he had only one goal in the last 11 regular season games and no goals in eight playoff but Only one goal in the last 19 yeah, overall. The, the thing to remember with Doug Gilmore is, yes, he's not scoring, obviously, but he, he gets assists. Also, he's not one of those players, if he's not scoring, he's not useful to your team. Right. He can win face-offs. He can check the other team's best player. He, he can do a great job penalty killing. There's a lot of different things Doug Gilmore brings to the ice surface for a team. But they also but they him. love him to score. Oh, yeah. Score, yeah. I mean, the team, when he came to the to the Devils, automatically scored right away. Maybe Andrew Chuck's a bigger key with his absence than people realize. McLean shot blocked by Parker Seth. Under three minutes to go in the first period. Parker Seth and Gretzky. Gretzky, Robitai, and Sundstrom. Parker Seth and Samuels and the Rangers. Well, there, Gretzky didn't get the puck deep. I think the Rangers in the neutral zone have not been diligent enough in working the puck deep. They've turned the puck over the blue line, between the blue lines a lot. Richter playing it up the board. Penalty upcoming. Penalty on the Devils. The a slashing call on the New Jersey Devils in the offensive zone. It's a bad one. And the Devils had it going here a little bit. They, they had owned the neutral zone. You'll see Gilmore here working with Sundstrom, and he comes right down on the stick of Mike Richter, who lost the stick for a moment. And the stick is part of Mike Richter. So the referee says zero tolerance for the referees. Doug Gilmore takes the penalty. Well, last night in Edmonton, there was, there's the notch on the tape. I, I thought it was up on the shaft, but anyway, the penalty goes to Gilmore. Last night in Edmonton, one of the defensemen, no, Ryan Smith, a forward for Edmonton.
Washington right. forced the defenseman of Colorado into Patrick Waugh. Waugh went 10 feet out of the net, empty net goal. Yeah. Very similar to the Mellon B play here in the Garden with Leach, only 100% worse. No penalty, no disallowed goal, no anything. I was very, very surprised on that one. That should have been a Ryan Smith penalty and no Evans a goal. Rangers power play. They're third, they're one for two. Messier, Graves, Cortinal, Leach, and Driver for the power play. Ralston, Carpenter, Stevens, and Chambers, the penalty killers for the Devils. Cortinal, toward the net, went off of Stevens' glove. Leach to Graves. Out to Leach. And toward the net, knocked down. That shot was saved by Brodeur. Graves again. Here's Cortinal. Messier through Leach and out of the zone. Ralston gets there. Blocks it with a left pad. And penalty killing is goaltending. That was a big save by Brodeur. I believe Graves had the shot, and I believe Brodeur stopped it. Here's Messier. For Graves, he's got some room. Now they close in. Like the side. Gretzky has come on. Gretzky to Leach. Out to Driver. Fortinet tipped from the corner by Chambers. Driven around the boards by Peter Zessel. Zessel's on with John McClain. Both these teams are very good penalty killing in, in, the, in the sense that they stop the shots at the blue line themselves before they even get to the goal. Tinkin is bringing it across. Around for Robitaille. Gretzky, Robitaille, and Tinkin in with Leach and Carpenter. Down goes Robitaille. Over the puck, Carpenter. To McLean. And heading for the net goes Niedermeyer. The shot blocked. Niedermeyer has it. He shoots saved by Richter. Leach gets to the puck. Less than a minute to go in the first period. Rangers have been outshot 13 to 5, but lead 1 to nothing. Kinkin and Big Drive goes by. Lifts it to the rebound blocked by Danico. Niedermeyer moves it up the board. Leaps there to stop it. 12 seconds in the power play. Oh, Brodeur took down Robitaille. That prompted the roar. Nothing called. Gretzky's got the puck. Gretzky moving. Centers deflected away by Brodeur. Robitaille looking for it. Knocks the side again. talking to Fossett about the last penalty that he was given, the slash on the stick of Mike Richter. Same story, Sam. This is just another period where there's two teams going at one another. Graves got the power play goal. Luke Robitaille here working with Carpenter. Carpenter strips the puck away. Tekinen comes across, and here go the Devils. Now, as McLean's carrying the puck, Niedermeyer had moved in. There's Niedermeyer getting a shot that deflected wide. Every time the Devils get some really good offense, you think it's McLean or you think it's Niedermeyer. Now here's Ro Brodeur getting the leg of Robitaille. Robitaille went off balance and down. Oh, we a little bit of everything. Salvesina is downstairs with Rangers assistant coach Dick Dodd. Red light. Yeah, thanks, Sam. Uh, you have to be very happy with the work ethic in that period. Then. Extremely uh, happy, Sal. They worked hard, and uh, there's a lot of shots by New Jersey, but I'm not sure how many quality chances they had. All right, penalty killing. Uh, it's really turned around over the series. What's the difference? Well, I think that there's a lot of coordination and uh, solid work uh, ethic involved. Uh, everybody's working together in the, as a unit out there. We're sagging when necessary, and we're playing their points and not allowing point shots. So those are the things they like to do. Uh, they like to work it low from behind the net, and we've got four guys back there. And, uh, you know, we're doing a little better job, too, up front in the offensive zone, being able to scramble to play a little bit before they get set up. Okay, thanks, Dick. Sam, all yours. Okay, Sal. Coming up, Mike Crispino with Brian Leach. Rangers one, Devils nothing, end of one. Back at Madison Square Garden, the first intermission, the Bob Stewart's intermission report. And we begin with the Norris finalists. The NHL announcing the seven annual awards for outstanding players. And among the finalists, 
New York Rangers defenseman Brian Leach, who joins us here in the first intermission. And once again, Brian, your team scores the first goal. That's been key for you in the postseason. Five times you've done it. You've won each and every time. Yeah, we took um, an early penalty and we were able to kill it off and then uh, worked hard to create some power plays for ourselves. And, you know, Adam's been working really hard, been in position uh, every game, so it was nice to see a puck go in for him. Yeah, last 30-goal score in regular season to get a goal in the postseason. You had another opportunity of eight seconds later on another power play. That would have been great for you to get that second goal. Yeah, you know, any goal, anytime you can get up more than one goal on the Devils, uh, you know, you got a good break there. But Brodeur's tough. He's, uh, he's going to be stonewalling us uh, most of the time, so we got to keep getting traffic and trying to get some by him. You know, interesting, the Devils have outshot you in a number of periods in this series. Again, they do it in the first period here. I think it was 13-5, to five, but it really comes down to quality chances, doesn't it? Yeah, they're, uh, they're big and strong, and they go to the net, so they throw a lot of pucks from the side, even if uh, they're not trying to score. They're just trying to get the puck on the net, make uh, Mike have to kick a rebound out or make a save in between that he's not ready because there's guys crashing to the net and uh, you know you see by the ones that have been called in the crease that's their philosophy to go hard and create chances and uh, we've got to be ready for that didn't see a lot of bouncing pucks and crazy things in that first period the ice must be good we although we saw martin brodeur come over and get his skate sharpened in the opening five minutes of the game yeah the ice is uh, hard and fast today so i think uh, some of the guys might be going for uh a little deeper edge and a little more edge uh, than we're used to. All right, a little skating therapy there from Brian Leach here in our first intermission. Thanks for joining us. The Rangers leading it one to nothing. We'll be back with more on the MSG Network after these words. Listen, John Davidson, Mike Crispino at Madison Square Garden on the Bob Stores intermission report. First period highlights. Rangers score a power play goal. Well, they made some nice passes. Very seldom against the Devils at even strength can you pass twice, three times in a row. Here on the power play, you see the third pass right here and even a fourth one. As Leach moves it across to Carpenter. Do you call this a shot or a pass? Carpenter saw Graves. Call it a shot pass. Certainly a deflection <laughs> as the puck went off of Graves and off of Brodeur. 1-0 Rangers on the power play. The only goal of the period. It got the job done. John, the Rangers, uh, the Devils have had three goals wiped out because of in the crease in this series. There's Stevie Thomas in game two, no goal. There's Billy Guerin in game three, no goal. And here in game four, Randy McKay's in there before the puck went off his skate blade. No goal. He's in, he's in, he's by himself, and he redirected the puck with his skate. Brian Burke told us he didn't think that would have counted even if he was out of the crease because he shuffled his foot forward, knocking the puck into the net. Got to be frustrating for the Devils. They're having trouble scoring. Back for the second in the moment. We are back. Here's a look at the first period scoring summary. It's brought to you by Hertz for business, for pleasure. Nobody does it exactly like Hertz. Adam Graves, first goal of the playoff. Power play goal at 549. Carpenter 7, Leach assisting. Leach with 10 shifts. 11 minutes, 37 seconds of ice time. Devils 0 for 2 on the power play. Rangers 1 for 3. Devils 13 shots. Rangers only 5. Now look at this. In the series, Devils have outshot the Rangers 58 to 25 and been outscored 4 to 1 in games 1, 2, and 4. Devils have 48 shots in the first period. No goals. Rangers 15 shots. Two goals. Rangers defense has been superb in the playoffs, and we talked to Bruce Driver about the improvement in the overall defensive play of the Rangers. You see that the players in this locker room, every single guy here has been with a team that's had to play strong defensive hockey, be it in the playoffs, or they've been with teams that are a more defensive-minded team. I mean, even the old Edmonton Oilers the last few years, uh, they won the cup. They didn't win just strictly on offense. They played very strong defensive hockey, and and the game's changed. Uh, you know, it's not as wide open as it, as it used to be, and uh, teams tighten it up in the playoffs. And I think we've realized that uh, we learned from last year's experience against Pittsburgh in the playoffs that uh, we were a little too wide open, we were a little too aggressive with our forecheck, and we were getting caught a lot of times. And the Rangers certainly have tightened up in rounds yeah. one and two so far. And Bruce made notice of the Edmonton Oilers. Remember, Edmonton had Grant Fuhr and Andy Mogan goal, and obviously here, the Rangers have Richter and the Devils have Brodeur. Another reason why the goals again get better in the playoffs. Mike Richter, same percentage through the first period of this game now for the playoffs is at nine in this series, 971. Excuse me, for the playoffs is at 971. 266 of 274. Messier with Graves, Tikkanen, 
Leach and Buchaboom for the Rangers. Devils have Holik, McKay, and Thomas. Chambers and Stevens. Chambers yeah. pushes it ahead. We're seeing a lot of Holik Messier match up in this game. Right pass. McKay puts aside by Buchaboom with a sliding slide. McKay's got the puck. Stevens with room. He shoots. Blocked in front by Buchaboom. Shot by Holik. Blocked by Buchaboom. Curry. Most of those on the penalty kill, Sam. These two here by Boom were at even strength. Both good ones as the Rangers had some trouble as the Devils forced a turnover or two early here in the second period. Bobby Malik played a lot in this game against Mark Messier. Game one of the series, it was Bobby Carpenter all the time. Here it's been a lot of Malik since the Rangers get the last change. Boom here doesn't block a shot, but he blocked the puck right off the stick. Uh, Randy McKay, the MCS Cannon goal cam. Look at the play as McKay hustles, and I think he's played real well. Look at that pass. This is a blocked shot by Bukaboom. Here's a Holik shot and a block by Bukaboom. But all set up by Randy McKay's hustle. Off the faceoff, Danico comes down to push it ahead. In the corner, Gilmore working against Sundstrom. Deaconin has gone to the Rangers locker room. We don't know why. John McClain knocked out of the zone. Recovered by Danico. Pandolfo plays it off the boards, but gave it away to Karpensev. Gretzky, Robitaille, and Sundstrom, Karpensev, and Samuelson for the Rangers. Gilmore, Pandolfo, and McClain for the Devils. Long shot by Robitaille, saved by Brodeur. And double with a long drive. Sundstrom comes off the boards, back pass taken away by John McClain. Joined by Pandolfo, and now it's Gilmore in the middle. Pandolfo, long shot, blocked by Samuelson. And it's cleared by Robitaille all the way down. Another icing for the Rangers here. Danico beats Gretzky to it. Good save. Got that long shot on Brodeur was a cannon. And a lot of people say, man, it looks like, you know, if he can score some there, it's something else. It shouldn't be allowed by the goaltender. But that was a rocket of a shot. Both Robitaille and two Tegan have sh hard shots. Now, Robitaille wasn't really moving when he took the shot. I mean, he's skating, but not a whole lot. That's what's surprising about it. And it may even have been deflected, Sam, when you see that replay. But Brodeur made a nice save. There's a save again by Samuelson, another Rangers defenseman here, blocking shot. How about the end of Robitaille's stick? It's cut straight down. Yeah, he's got the, the wide toe to find the puck around the net for garbage goals. Phil Esposito used to have a stick somewhat similar, as big as what was legal. The Rangers players check their sticks to make sure they're legal. The trainers will check them if they're asked by the player. The Devils have their trainers, two of them, check every stick before the game to make sure they're all legal. Billy Guerin drops it off to Dave Ellis. And we're not only talking about the curve, we're talking about the width of the blade, the length of the blade, the whole thing to make sure they're legal. Reese Simpson checked by Lister. Zezel is tied up by Courtnall. Battles for the puck. Zezel's got it. Courtnall comes back at him. Simpson sets up Garen. Shot blocked by Driver. Zezel plays it back. Over the line. Shot high and wide. Around the boards. Flatley is there to play it. Courtnall in the Middle East with wide left. Courtnall waits. Look. Shoots. Save. Rodeur. He's got it. He drops it. He covered it. And Simpson wants a piece of Flatley. The puck was loose. Flatley got there. And Rodeur covered it up at the last moment. Three on one. Simpson locked on to Flatley to make it more of a two-on-one, and then Flatley got loose to try and find the rebound. Flatley moves the puck, and it's almost a two-on-one on the far side of the ice. Everybody backs in, Cordell's shot. Watch the puck drop down, and there comes Flatley, and Brodeur got to it quickly. See the Rangers with a shot again, going this time wide by Odeline that allowed the Rangers to break out of the zone. Everybody backs in. Brodeur with a good save and a good cover-up. The Devils blacking up. Cornell tried to use someone on that side as a screen. I'm not sure who it was. Maybe Dave Ellis. Deaconin has returned from the locker room. Churla is on on the right side of Messier. Messier, Graves, and Churla. Messier is chased, and Graves comes in to go against Bobby Holik. Again, the Rangers want Messier against Holik in this game. Holik Campbell has played 10 forwards tonight. Ken Trenander and Darren Langdon have not seen any ice time. Puck around the board. And up in the center. Bukabu lifts it back over the glass and the crowd stopping play. Remember when you're having good times with good friends, drink responsibly because friends know when to say when. Reminder, your friends 
at Budweiser. Will, will Chambers be a devil next year? Free agent without comp? Unrestricted. He's played well since coming to New yeah, Jersey. Well, he's such a good fit with Scotty Stevens. Plus, he can play the power play. But you have young Kevin Dean. Yes, that's Betty, totally. He's waiting that's in the, the wings. The Devils franchise. They've got good use in the organization, yeah. and they know when people come up where they're where they're going to be an unrestricted free agent, they're, they're free to go. And for, for an athlete, you love to have that freedom, so you play the market, see what happens. If he comes back, he comes back. If he goes, there's young talent to, to jump into the spot. We talked a lot about the age on the Rangers, John. The Devils have 10 players in the lineup who are over 30, seven of them over 33. They average seven-tenths of a year younger per player than the Rangers on average. That's not a big difference. Nope. Deflected by Stevens, the backhander by Graves goes into the crowd. We played 317 of the second period. Rangers leading 1-0. Taken in since coming back from the locker room, but flexing his knee a little bit, I think, John. Yeah, it looks like behind the leg. I don't know if it's his knee break. I don't know if he got clipped. I don't know if something, what it is. This was after the last whistle during the TV timeout. He's skating around, checking out the outside of his right knee. Behind the knee. Back to the live action. Doubles clear out. Doubles have yet to get a shot on goal here in the second. Uh, they've attempted a lot. They've had four blocks. Point Chambers. That shot missed by Zelopukin. Harper for Zelopukin and Ralston for New Jersey. The whole game's about time and space, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Time and space. And the Devils attempting a lot of shots, getting the opportunities, but the Rangers taking away the time and the space. That was another one from the blue line that was blocked. It's at five now here in the second period. As, as the Devils will continue, they, they won't change their game. They'll just go, go, go. And the one player to be attentive to be aware of is Niedermeyer jumping in. Not much room to do much. No, there just isn't. Jacques Lemaire, who felt talking with the media yesterday that his team was close to breaking out scoring. He wanted them to keep working. He felt they were close. I mean, and they needed to gain their confidence. Face back. They had a great third period. Yeah. Game three. They were great, but they couldn't score. Gretzky takes away such a save by Brodeur. Oh, baby. Beautiful save by Brodeur after Gretzky with a great setup for Sun. Put that one in the memory bank, and here's the penalty. The Devils, I believe, took a neutral zone penalty. Yeah. They're taking a lot of penalties here. It's going to hurt them sooner or later. Sunstrom, what a chance. Put it in the memory bank. This is a sensational save by Brodeur on Sunstrom. But the Devils take another penalty in the neutral zone or offensive zone. It's going to catch up. Watch Gretzky here strip Danico or take the puck and set up the shot. Now watch Brodeur. I mean, he read the play. That's a big-time save. Big, big, big time in such a crucial portion of the game. Gretzky with a marvelous backhand pass. Big shot, big save. Marvelous save. But seconds later, the Devils here, the hit by Sunstrom, and in comes... The pick play by McLean flattening Sundstrom just can't do that. I mean, that's just too obvious. This is uncharacteristic yes. of the Devils, who are the least penalized team in the league in regular season. This is their fourth penalty of this game. 4.02 the time, McLean for interference. Rangers power play is one for three in the game. And both teams played 82 regular season games. The Devils were shorthanded 109 fewer times. That's a lot. That's right. But here, they're hurting themselves they taking some penalties. I mean, you want to be aggressive, but this guy here was a disciplined hockey player, and you can see he's shaking his head a little bit. I think he's starting to maybe get frustrated at his team taking these penalties. Leach, driver, Gretzky, taken in, and Sundstrom for the power play. Gretzky to Sundstrom. Gretzky has it back on goal, six to side, rebound wide on the backhand by Leach. Ralston and Carpenter, Chambers and Stevens for the Devils. Chambers has the puck. The room, he drives it out of the zone. Richter stops it, Leach comes back to get it. There's four and a half minutes into the second period. The Rangers holding a one-nothing lead. Power play goal by Adam Graves in the first. Sunstrom. Dick handling at the line, pulls it back out. Pandolfo getting a chance to kill penalties with McLean in the box. Pandolfo with Gilmore. Leach slowed down by both. Forwards. Has it, plays it deep. Rodeur stops it for Stevens, off the board, out of the zone. Gilmore going for it, Leach there to move it ahead. Pekinen, Gretzky, and Messier. Pass across to Messier. Rangers changing, Crawford them on. Pekinen against Stevens. Down goes Stevens. Messier, blocked, 
Complete shoot wide. Yeah, he hits the net there. He might score. Did it go off Pandolfo? Messier's got it. Leach has had two attempts on his power play, both going wide. Leach the carpet set. Graves across. Now Gretzky along the boards. Messier holding. Back to Gretzky. Try to touch it to Carpenter. Carpenter takes it away. Here's Scott Stevens. Nice lead to Carpenter. Across for Stevens, who is wide open. He shoots off the chest of Richter and cleared out. The Rangers power play is coming to a close. Bezel to Stevens. He shoots just wide. Good penalty kill for the yeah. devil. Stevens up on the play. And of course, Carpenter had a great penalty kill. Courtney with speed. Team for full strength. Courtney shoots. Save. Rodeur rebound. Go fly. Graves is checked by Danico. Kept in by Samuelson. One nothing Rangers. They're one for four on the power play in the game. Now their power play looked good until the last 20 seconds. They generated chances but missed the net with their shooting. Leach twice had good chances and missed the net. Gilmore putting it in the Ranger zone. Courtnall has it. You know, sometimes good goaltending on both ends of the ice force players to be fine with their shot. We saw Scotty Stevens take a wrist shot and miss the net. Good goaltending of four shots in the corner. Niedermeyer holding. Offside, Devils on the play. 13-22 to go, second period. Devils had their first shot on goal of the period in the shorthanded situation. The linesman who called this offside, Sam, was at center ice. The linesman on the line didn't see what was happening. He was blocked out, so Wayne Bonney was at center ice, and he made the alert call as the linesman worked in unison. Brian Leach had a couple of chances yeah. on the power play. May have been the second one, as you said, John, may have been deflected. Pa Pandolfo moved up. And and, and watch Pandolfo 20. Turn around, see the play. Does it go off his stick? Eh, I can't quite tell. I know he was in the way, certainly. And it, was a, it was a read, as you see here. Tikkanen finds a way to beat Stevens to the puck, draws two men to him, and now you'll see Messier with the pass. And the shot went wide. The puck was out of the zone. No, it was ruled onside. Rick plays it. Might have circled out of the zone. Garrett with a hit. Lister moves the puck to flatly. Unable to clear. Kept in. Long shot wide. Odeline with a long yeah. shot. Odeline green. Odeline's shots have been high. Remember Carpenter's goal, or the goal, was on the power play, but it's a low shot. Twice now, Odeline has missed the net high, and the puck zinged right around the boards and out the zone. Scott Stevens. And a lot of pressure on the Devils defense. Yeah, watch, here he had a chance yeah, watch, offensively. Watch how the Rangers let him go, though. Gretzky had him and let him go. And if this, this shot had it been more of a pass, Stevens would have had a partial breakaway. Here's Zezel hitting Stevens there, and that shot just missed on a wrist shot. Again, goaltenders playing the angles well will force the shooters to try and hit the corners, and a lot of times they miss the net at both ends of the ice here. Brodeur and Richter being so hot. Graves long pass to Tikkanen. Tikkanen with Messier. Tikkanen shoots and is blocked. Off of Ellis. Tikkanen chases down. Round for Messier. Tied up along the board. Devils move it. Steve Thomas has it. Thomas Malik and McKay for the Devils. Malik can see the pass. Taken out by Bukaboom. Randy McKay along the board. Checked by Leach. Up in the corner. Battle on there. Tikkanen is there for the Rangers. Puck around to McKay, leech on him. McKay staying with it. Down the boards for Holik. He's checked by Bukaboom. Now the one-on-one -on -one battles. Thomas playing it wide of the net. These are the one-on-one -on -one battles that the Devils controlled in the third period of game three. Owned them. Here the Rangers play a lot better in that respect. Good work by McKay on Graves, but Leach was able to get it out of the zone. Back comes Holik. Across to Pandolfo, just off the bench. Saved by Richter. Tough long shot by Pandolfo. Very similar to the Robitaille shot. Good save. Pressure from the Devils. Bukaboom clears it out. Back come the Devils again. Holik. On goal, stopped by Richter. Bukaboom drives it down the ice. We'll take an icing. Rangers needed a change. This line has been on for a long time and okay. pinned in their own zone. When you're pinned in their own zone in the second period, it's a long trip to the bench for a change. The bench is past center ice. Now, we talked about Pandolfo here with a long shot, but it's so hard, so accurate. And Richter has to make a good kick save. That was a good shot by Pandolfo as the puck seemed to be on, on edge. Now, here's that cycle we talked about in the open with a whole league line. The one-on-one -on -one battle. The Rangers do all right here as nobody from the red jerseys, the Devils, is able to move in front all by himself. 
There's always a Ranger on him, a Ranger on him, a Ranger on him. In game three, in the third period, the Devils won those battles, and that's why they controlled the Rangers in deep but couldn't beat Mike Richter. And that's what the Rangers talked about in their meeting today was the battles in your own zone. You can't win them all, but don't lose them. Good battle on the face-off, and Sundstrom with a standoff against Gilmore. Rover tied to Gretzky. Nice feed to Samuelson. Save off the left arm of Brodeur. On the board, Gretzky into the crease with block. Sundstrom to Gretzky. Rover ties in front. Gretzky against Niedemeyer. And it's taken away by McClay. Niedemeyer down the right side, comes in the middle. Beat to Pandolfo. Pandolfo lost it to Karkersev, who gave it away to Gilmore. Gretzky goes to the puck. Gretzky moves out. Four men out of the zone for the Rangers. Gretzky gets away from Pandolfo. Leaves it for Sundstrom for the shot. Saved by Brodeur. He dives on top. Gretzky there pulled away from Pandolfo. And all of a sudden when he did that, instead of a three on two, a three on three became a three on two. Gretzky showing some strength. Pandolfo was on him and lost the battle. And then Brodeur made another save as we see a strum and we haven't had many of these. No more in Robitaille. Rangers defense staying up at the top of the circle. Face off in the devil's zone. Gilmore gets going like this. I think he plays better. He gets more emotional. And here's the shot by Samuelson on the Gretzky pass. Brodeur was well out on that one and made a good save. And then cleared his goal crease. Hey, you go around the goal crease, you got to pay a price. Oh, That's boy, the way yeah. it goes. Yeah. Now watch Pandolfo here on Gretzky. And Gretzky beats him and drives through the stiff check. And all of a sudden, it's three on two. Then there's the shot. Now you'll see the pass across from Gretzky. And then the shot. Good save on Sundstrom by Brodeur, and he held on. You know, Gretzky, here's another shift, Sam. Set up that shot by Sundstrom. Set up the shot by Samuelson earlier. And Brodeur continues to get it done. Shots are now 16-14, Devil. 9-3 for the Rangers here in the second period. Eastwood with Portnall and Flatley. Eastwood won the draw. Lister played it through Portnall. Ellis takes over for the Devils. Moves it ahead. Zolofukin got it out of the zone. Stopped by Lister. Zolofukin has it again. Richter stops the puck. Driver moves it up for Portnall. He's caught up with Ellis. Taken back by Zelopukin. Now Driver. one nothing Rangers. Giveaway. Oderline. Saved by Richter oh, as he goes down. That was a great read by Oderline. And I think on this shot, we talked about him missing the net and shooting high. I think this time the puck flipped on edge as he went to shoot it. And that's why he went right into the midsection of Richter. If it didn't, then he's got to make the decision to shoot the puck lower. Driver's forced by Ralston. The Rangers flew the zone, and there's the shot. Yeah, I believe, I believe the puck was on edge. What a great read. The Devil's been good in this series, stepping up the blue line there. Is the puck rolling? Yeah, hard to tell, but I believe so. What shouldn't get lost is Richter moved out and made the nice save. Remember, Brodeur Rob, let's watch the puck. Yeah, it's on edge. That's why it jumped right into the air, and, and because of that Oda line, lost his accuracy, accuracy of the shot. First replay from the MCS Cannon goal cam. MCS Cannon, let us show you the possibilities. 10.25 to go, second period. Zezel won the draw, but Graves hustled to clear it out of the zone. Dave Ellett has it back. SDA Graves and Churla on for the Rangers. This is an icing on the devil. Might be their first of the game, John. I don't remember the, uh, they don't, they, the other one. You know, in the last game, there was nine icings, only three by the Devils. Six by the Rangers. You know, face-offs mean a lot. Now, you'll see Zezel win the puck, but look at Graves jump out. Look at Graves. He gets to the puck first and out of the zone. Teams, Jacques Lemaire, coach teams, Coley Campbell, coach teams, talk to their players about face-offs. Zezel won the draw. He beat Messier on it, but Graves got out. Now, I'm sure when Jacques Lemaire and his team look at the tape, they'll say, why did Graves get out? There's got to be a reason. His team has got to hold up Graves from getting out to the puck. In the offensive zone now, it's Messier, Graves, and Tinkinen as Jacques Lebert looks on intently. Rangers with the edge and face-offs thus far in the game. Zezel and Messier for this draw. Zezel's supposed to put a stick down first. Does and wins the draw. Stevens plays the puck. Pulled out, penalty on Messier. It's very similar to the Tinkinen penalty. In game three, Messier hooked the right elbow, and with, again, with, with Stevens going around the right side of the net, the other side, you turn to your left. When you turn to your left, it's easy to knock you off balance, and Messier hooked him from the outside, so again, it's a penalty. Zezel won the draw, which led to this penalty. 
Stevens is hooked down, and the Devils get a power play. You know, it doesn't look like much, Does but it? it is a penalty sure because is. You're, you're tugging the oh, guy. You pulled him off. You pulled him off balance. You tugged him. And again, with a player leaning to one side, and you pull him in the same direction, it doesn't take much to knock him off balance. The Rangers didn't like to call and take in the game three. Right. Well, I think it was a penalty. Yep. And I think this one is, too. I mean, a player will say, I hardly tugged him. But the point is, you hooked him down. Messier for hooking at 9.54. Third Devils power play. They're open to the three shots on the power play. Midway point, second period. Rangers leading one to nothing. First period power play goal by Adam Gray. And with Messier in the box, the Rangers lose the best face-off guy and an important, important penalty killer. Around the board. Thomas trying to get away from Bukaboom. Thomas has the puck. Thomas turns and shoots. Saved by Richter. Rebound. Chip knocked down by Chambers. Chambers. With Niedemeyer at the point, Zellabuk and Holy can Thomas up front, a clear by Lee. That was a big shot by Thomas, and Richter reacted through traffic. Man, I don't know, he makes it look easy, but that was some shot. Rangers change all four, Samuelson with a hit on Holy. Samuelson, Karpacev, Pekin, and Sundstrom for the Rangers. Oh, Samuelson oh. without a stick. Niedemeyer shoots, saved by Richter. Rebound to Zellabuk up the boards to Niedemeyer. Niedemeyer, wrist shot, deflected into the crowd. And the Rangers needed that. The Devils, Niedermeyer had a great shot. Richter stopped that. Again, penalty killing by the Rangers, led by their goaltender. Mike Richter with a couple of big saves again. Got to be frustrating oh, for the absolutely. Devils. Absolutely. Niedermeyer loses, leads their team with shots on goals and, and on goal in the series. Oh, Samuelson with a big hit on Holik. This is where Samuelson will lose a stick. Holik fell on it, knocking it out of the arms of Samuelson. And then. No, here's a quick change by the Rangers, a smart quick change, and here comes Samuelson heading right across the ice with the body check. Off the face off. Ralston plays it deep. Here's Ronald McClain. Ralston is at the right point now for the Devils on the power play. Gilmore for Ralston. He's got a good shot. Here's Gilmore. McClain in the slot. Shot saved by Richter. And Ralston's got a low shot, a real good low hard shot. Gilmore against Tinkinen. McLean works it back to Guerin, who's just come on. Leaves it for Gilmore, out to Walton. Walton, the shot, deflected, saved by Richter on the deflection by Guerin. Great save by Mike Richter. 25 seconds to the power play. McLean hacked by Parker Seven and the Rangers clear. Rodor will move a quick pass here. No, he doesn't. The Rangers were changing. Yes, he does lead. McLean looking for a man. It's behind Thomas. Richter out the plane away from Thomas. There's Bukaboom. He's got it. He fires it down. Messier's on his feet. Messier is on the ice. Rangers kill it off. Now that was a Mike Richter penalty kill. Devils 0 for 3 on the power play in the game. 1-0 Rangers. Just under 8 minutes to go in the second period. Stevens to Thomas. Right pass. In comes McKay. Stops and shoots. Deflected by Leach. Bounces behind the net. Rangers, they have Messier, Graves, Pekin, and Leach 
and Driver for the power play. The Devils have Ralston, Carpenter, Stevens, and Chamber uh, make that Oda line the penalty killers. Again, you'll see Niedermeyer knowing Gretzky would get there. Drew Gretzky down and went hard into the board. And I thought right there, <laughs> call the ball bearers. So, and then he just caught his senses after he hit his head on the board and got up. Went to the bench. Got a screwdriver, fixed the helmet, and I think he'll be out on the second half of this power play. A hot shot by Stevens was stopped. The other defenseman is Sean Chambers with Scott Stevens. Graves looks it in. FCA takes a hit from Stevens. Pekinen's got the puck. Pekinen looking. Graves set up down low. FCA, the driver. For the shot. Save will do a rebound miss. That was a screenshot. Rodeur didn't see it, but he read the play. Leach the driver. Good shot toward the net, just missed by Messier. It was a pass, he was cutting in from the right side. Beacon has got it. Now Messier, Graves battling in front. Driver again, the shot, it's a pass to Leach. Shot by Graves over the top. Beacon in along the board. Now Driver turns, long shot, save, rebound, missed by Graves. What you got that one too. Up the board. Beacon in, Rangers applying the pressure. Now it's Brodeur's turn to shine as he keeps the Devils in it with some brilliant goaltending. Uh, the three major league saves as the Rangers had a strong power play. Gretzky's on the ice. Driver's got the puck. 35 seconds to the power play. Gretzky with Robitaille and Courtenall. Driver takes it in. Trying to beat Courtenall. is blocked by Odeline. McLean moving it back. Odeline with Danico. McLean. And Gilmore on. Here's Leach touching it to Driver. Driver in deep. Six aside by Brodeur. Out comes Gilmore. Gilmore passed across. Three on two Devils. On line in the middle. Leaves it for McLean. Toward the net. Intercepted by Leach. Quick transition. Danico the only man back. Rangers three on one. Courtney on the puck. That was three on two. Courtney on Rinsky. Save by Rick 
Foster cleared by Lee. Alert play by Brian Lee. Messier back for it. Off the boards to Tikkanen. Now Brave. Makes his way across. Slowed down by Chambers and forced back to center. Rangers put it in the zone. Devils come out with it. Scott Stevens on the puck. Malik working over Tikkanen. Stevens on the three on two. Saved by Richter. Rebound around the net. Davidson hit by Bukaboom after the shot. Sundstrom leads Robitaille. He shoots. And it went wide. Around the board, Sundstrom. Lodor picks off Robitaille. Gretzky is on against Carpenter. Walton is there. Sundstrom back to driver. Now Lister. Fans loving it. Three minutes to go in the second. Got Niedemeyer. Ryan Ralston. For Zella Pukin. Carpenter's got the puck. Eat him by the shot. Saved by Richter in traffic. Loose puck hooked away by Richter. Gretzky into the puck. Clears the zone. They got knocked down. The Devils sending defense up on the play now. Stevens was up. Niedermeyer was up. And the guard is making stopping the Devils destroying Mike Richter. It's getting to be desperation time. For the double. Down by two. And trailing in the series. Garen across. Blackley brings it out. Niedemeyer. Eastwood hooks it away. Eastwood trying to draw a penalty. Where the crowd reacts. He called on the play. That's across. Garen. Outside. Devils. Exactly two minutes to go in the second period. The Rangers have scored again. They lead 2 nothing. Devils can't afford to take a penalty. Now, Gilmore was knocked down. Gilmore was knocked down after the whistle. Look at Samuelson move in. Samuelson keeping his hands down, trying to bait people. I think Mark Fawcett's going to call some penalties yeah, here. I mean, I mean, the Rangers right now are in a position where they, they throw the fishing lines out. And the Devils, very emotional, have to be extremely careful here. They can't afford to take a penalty after a whistle. They just can't. Garrett, they just did. Garrett and Eastwood. Penalty. And yeah. there's, there's the discipline that yeah. Jacques Lemaire does not like. That's oh. the one thing he doesn't want from his players is the retaliation penalty. And both players may go. No, maybe not. Yes, both players are going to go, Sam, I think. Garrett and Gilmore and off. And Carpenter. No, some, somebody else is going, as you see. The referee pointing at somebody. Two Devils are going and one Ranger, I believe. Nobody seems to know who it is on either team. Is two Devils in the box already? Two, yeah, Garrett and, yeah. and Gilmore are in the box. I'm telling you, the Rangers are in a position here with a 2 nothing lead, two minutes to go in a second. They're, they're just trying to, to bait I, somebody into a penalty. I think Garrett took a terrible penalty if, here. If it, if it put his team shorthanded, I'm not sure that happened. Here comes Carpenter toward the box. John McLean's come off as an assistant captain. He wants to talk to the referee. Carpenter Seb is going. And Samuelson. So it's going to be yeah. two men for each. There was a scrum. They were pushing and shoving. And you can see these, the Rangers just drawing. And, and the motions here. Oh, Danico's off also. Three Devils are off. I don't know. I wow. Just, I just know Jacques Lemaire is a very... He was a great disciplined player. Right now, his team... Could be heard on the power play. Gretzky again. He gets hit here pretty well. And that's what Carpenter's supposed to do. It's a good hit. A good, clean hit. Now uh, here's a play where Bukaboom was involved with Gilmore. So Carpenter was. And there's Zezel going at Carpenter. Bill Guerin's penalty gives the Rangers a power play. This is Danico and Karpusev. This is going on all over the place. The Rangers are in a position having the lead. And the only reason they're in this position is because they have the lead. And, and Gilmore there. You see, Samuelson, he's got his hands down at his side. He's skating over to Gilmore, and he's trying to get something going. Oh, he going. poked him with the stick in the, uh, between the legs, John. Gilmore did or Samuelson no, did? Samuelson no, did I, be Gilmore. I believe it. I mean, Samuelson's trying to... That's what I said. They're trying to bait. Here's Garen at this, the end. And this was the, really, this is a bad penalty for the Devils here. Garen, a it's shot into the jaw, and, it's and not he's gone and gives the Rangers yes, a power but play. But it's not even much of a shot, but it's after a whistle, after a play, and the referee's skating around trying to watch. So, so for the Devils, Garen super roughing, Gilmore too unsportsmanlike. 
Bosco, two for roughing. Karpovsev, two for roughing. Samuelson, two unsportsmanlike. Time of all penalties, 18 minutes. End result, Rangers' sixth power play of the game. They're one for five, but their last goal came as Niedermeyer's penalty expired right on the dot. It's like two for five. And the other thing is, for the Devils, their club need time to score goals and when you take penalties it takes two minutes away of your offense unless of course they get a short end of goal for the rangers for their team they're in a position if they just play smart on the power play either make it three nothing or at least kill off another two minutes with the lead yeah. carpenter to take the face off carpenter and pandolf along with stevens and chambers for the devils gretzky cardinal and keegan with driver and leach for the rangers two nothing rangers leading it long shot Richter stops it and leaves it for Leach. Leach on the move. Me to Kortnall, taps to Tikkanen. Back for Driver. On to Tikkanen. Now Kortnall moves it to Gretzky. Out in front for Leach. Driver. Kortnall off the skate. And also takes over. Off course intervention report coming up. Mike Crispino with Scott Niedemeyer. Studio. Jeff Kaufman at the MSC Sports Desk with an update. Maybe and I will have second, third highlights. All the way down to Joe. Leach back for it. Messier on with Gretzky and Pekinen. Pekinen lead for Messier. Broke it up nicely. Good play by Zettel. Zettel and Walston go on. Less than a minute to go in the second period. Driver with the puck. Gretzky. Just have to get back on side. Driver's got it. Now Graves. He's off, dumping it. Chambers has it. Messier on him. Around the board. Stopped by Leach. Leach checked by Pandolfo. Messier trying to take it. Works it around to Gretzky. Graves goes in front. Gretzky back past the driver. Driver holds it at the line. He took it out. It was outside. Offside is called on the Rangers. So 29.5 remaining in the period and the power play. So far so good for the Devils on the penalty kill. Yeah. The Rangers look very cautious with this power play late in the period. And the 2-0 lead. Don't want to make a mistake. Oh, no. a shorthanded chance. And when the Devils been watching the penalty kill when they got the puck, there's Rodeur talking things over with Mark Fossett. With, with it, when the Devils get the puck, a forward's heading up through the middle, hoping that if the puck comes that way, it'll be a shorthanded breakaway. Ralston tried it before he went off the ice. Rodeur, by the way, went to a movie again last night. Last what did he night, last night? The Saint. There's four movies now before games. The Volcano, Austin Powers, Breakdown, and The Saint. Only he told me, he said, last night I went by myself trying oh. to change my luck. Usually it's been with Niedermeyer. Done. The man has a career for the playing days of all. It's going to be a movie he, trip. He, he, thumbs up with all four. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a nice kid. Here's Niedermeyer shorthanded. Cecil checked by Lipscomb. Messier trying to take it back. Eight seconds to go on the curry. Rangers not getting anything done on the power play, but killing off time for the Devils, who now have to mount a big comeback. End of two. On their feet in the garden. I think the will have to rally the troops. Now, it gets them something to build on, though. They, they killed off the penalty. They're down by two. Jacques Lemaire may have to change his lines. He may have to have defense jump into the play more. This is a very, very important period for his hockey club and for the Rangers as we look ahead to the third. Very important. Rangers have done everything they wanted to do in this game. They have kept control. They, they have been the disciplined team, well, and they've gotten the big goal. Yeah, but remember, Mike Richter, he's had 29 shots yep. in, and I'll tell you, this period here, he made two or three gigantic saves before Gretzky drew the power play right here. As he tried to negate the icing, and then as the power play expired, the Rangers had a three-on-one rush. As the Devils had gone for it short-handed, Robitaille hit Gretzky and bang. And before this happened, these two plays, Mike Richter robbed some of the Devils as they had some of their best offense. 29 saves for Richter in the game. 2-0 Rangers, end of two. Scott Niedermeyer with Mike Crispino when we come back. A Gretzky goal is sixth of the playoffs has given the Rangers a 2-0 lead after two. And the Bobsters intermission report continues our second intermission joined by Scott Niedermeyer. Great defenseman of the New Jersey Devils. Uh, you've had an outstanding postseason so far. Six points in the eight games. Tonight, 29 uh, shots on goal by your team. Has it been Mike Richter or has it been the quality of the shots? I think both. I think Mike's played well. Uh, you know, we've had 
some chances that we haven't capitalized on as well and uh, it's been a combination of both. I mean, we're getting a lot of long shots as well, and uh, we're going to have to do something different in the third period. Yeah, uncharacteristic of your team to take six penalties. You're the least penalized team in the league. Uh, tell me about that. Is that a little bit of frustration coming out? You're down 2-1 in the series. You're on uh, enemy ice. I think they're bad calls. I think, uh, you know, our, during the regular season, we're the least penalized team in the, in the league. Uh, you know, we have discipline on this team. We, we know what it takes to win, and uh, we're fighting an uphill battle right now against the rest and the Rangers. Now, what do you do in the third period? You generated a ton of shots. Uh, the, all the defensemen going to get up into every play now to try to get uh, the equalizers? Yeah, if we can do that, uh, as long as we don't get caught, I mean, they're, they're taking advantage of their chances. Uh, they're scoring when they get chances, and uh, we can't let them get those chances. So I don't know what we're going to do, but we got to do something different. All right, Scott Needham, I'll head back to the dressing room, and they'll talk it over. The Devils trailing 2 nothing. Thanks for joining us here on our intermission report. We'll be back with more on MSG after these words. Welcome back, Sam Rosen, John Davidson, Mike Crispino at Madison Square Garden on the Bob Storrs intermission report. The Rangers holding a 2-0 lead, and Mike Richter, a big factor. He has been brilliant, keeping the Devils off the board in this game. You know, don't kid yourselves. The Devils have had some great offense in this game. Some strong offense. Pandolfo shot that Richter had to kick out. Watch Odeline step up. A blast. Richter played the angle on. No rebounds. No second shots by the Devils. There's a save by... Richter, the Rangers cleared that one. This time they'll get a second shot. Scotty Stevens with the first one, and Richter stayed with McKay and robbed him on a second save. Here's Stevens again, another glove save. Here's the shot with traffic in front, no second shot. So it's more Richter making a first save and the teammates getting rid of the rebound. Here's the devil breaking in. Odoin tried a little bit of a drop pass, it didn't work. A cross ice pass. A cross ice pass, and Gretzky scores. 2 nothing Rangers at the end of two. That's a big lead. Two goal lead, standing big for the Rangers as they try to take a two-game lead in the series. Back with the third period right after this. We are back. Here's the second period scoring summary. It's brought to you by GMC, comfortably in command. Wayne Gretzky sticks to the playoffs at 14:36, right at the end of Anita Meyer penalty. Gave the Rangers the 2-0 lead. Gretzky with a three-game point scoring streak. Look at Mike Richter. In this series, he's faced 129 shots and stopped 126. In the playoffs, he's given up only eight goals on 290 shots. Ryan Leach, 23 minutes. Doug Gilmore, a little over 14. Messier and Stevens playing 15 minutes. A piece Messier almost 16 minutes. Rangers have 20, uh, one shot. Devils 29, even in the second period. Look at the power plays. Six for the Rangers. That's the big number, uncharacteristic of the Devils to give that many power play chances to play that undisciplined. And Ken Danico, we talked with him yesterday, and he talked about how the Devils' key is to keep their composure and play a disciplined game. I don't want to play with emotion, but uh, we have to play disciplined game. I mean, our team all season long was a team uh, that didn't let too much bother us. We stayed focused, stayed on track, whether it be penalties, whether it be, uh, you know, not scoring on the power play, we don't get frustrated, and we can't can't let ourselves get frustrated, or it affects you throughout the game, it affects your next shift, affects the next period. We just have to stay focused. So all season long, we're that type of team that stayed very disciplined. I mean, we're one of the least, the least penalized team in the league, and I think right now maybe we're taking a few too many penalties because of emotion. Uh, and I think we have to just go out there and play a very disciplined game and, and stay on our game plan. And that hasn't happened, John. The emotion yeah. and the frustration is building. Well, it was Billy Guerin who took the extra penalty in the last scrum. Danico and Carpenter have got two minutes each. Think about this. The Rangers in the two games in New Jersey, one for seven. The Devils were one for 11. 11-7. 11 here on the road for the Devils, they're 0 for 7 in the two games here. To this point, the Devils, Rangers are 2 for 11. Both teams have had 18 power plays in the series going into this last period, or possibly uh, third period regulation here at the Garden. It is desperation time for the Devils. They are down 2-1 in the series, down 2-0 into the third period. Stevens up the board. Danielson there took a hit. Rangers changed to get Danielson and Karpinschip on the ice against this big line. And this whole league line with McKay on it have a lot of beef. Short shift for the Rangers. Gretzky's line has come on with Robitaille and Sundstrom. Samuelson and Karpinschip. And all the way down, this will be an icing on the Rangers. Now in game three, 
The Rangers sat back in the third period. Well, the Devils, the Devils also forced it. Them. Yeah, the Devils forced it. And really, as Goldie Campbell said after the game, the Devils took it to them. He said his team just held on. He said the Rangers stopped hitting and forcing. And again, we said it earlier, that was a topic of conversation with their team today. For the Devils, I would think, they'll throw everything, including their defense, and jumping into the plate. We saw Scott Stevens late in the second jump up more than he has in the entire series. Niedermeyer will do it all the time. He's on with Danico. Carpenter on the faceoff. The Devils did not lose three in a row. They had five two-game losing streaks during the regular season. Wraparound fight up by Richter. Loose puck still scrambles on. Cleared out to the line. Danico's got it. Wrist shot wide. Around the board, Niedermeyer get out of trouble. Go beside a Gretzky and the Devils all they go. John, is there a danger that the Rangers, knowing how well Mike Richter's play, might just sit back and say, and unconsciously, and subconsciously, leave it to Mike? And the Devils will go for it. And the Devils will go for it. It's a matter of the Devils getting the second shot. It doesn't look like, so far at least, they beat Richter on the first shot. They've got to get second shot. Flatly shot went wide. Eastwood and Danico on the corner. Up in front, the Devils can't go. And Samuelson attacks and jumps on Gilmore, knocking him down. Oh, no, pardon me, it's Carpenter. Carpenter, yes. Samuelson knocked him, actually jumped on him and tackled him yeah. down to the ice. He's Richter. fortunate he didn't get a penalty on that one. Richter's very good at keeping balance. You know, he moves around, keeping focus. Yeah, you're right. Samuelson had one hand on his stick and jumped on Carpenter and dragged him down to the ice. Uh, fans might have noticed that Al Trotwick's not with us tonight. His father passed away, and we send our deepest condolences to Al and his entire family. Uh, Otto Trotwick uh, passing on this week, and again, from all of us at the network, and from John, myself, our deepest condolences to Al. And uh, we've got a great press contingent in attendance. One guy that's missing this, and I know that's bothering him, is Ken Rappaport of the Associated Press, who underwent surgery uh, recently, and we wish him a speedy recovery. So, Ken, if you're watching, get well soon. Right here, 2-0, Rangers leading it. Game 5 will be Sunday afternoon on Fox, 2 o'clock. John and Mike Emmerich will call the game for right, you. Right. The eyes of Gilmore, Gilmore huh? hardly blinking, thinking about it. What to do next shift? What may be different to try? How to get to the net? Rangers tried to send Messier out late for the draw. He got waved off. So it's all leaks against Sundstrom. It's a big line on the ice for the Devils against a line that's not nearly as big as what Holik has seen a lot of, and that's Messier's line. Richter makes the same on Niedermeyer's shot. Both pushing and shoving. And now 
We'll see if the Rangers do put Messier out there. Jacques Lemaire will have the first change. You know, Glenn Healy's been sitting on the bench, Sam. And he's down. He can't quite see what he's doing. He's got the stick measurer. He's measuring all his teammates' sticks right there to make sure they're legal. With a lead here in the third period, he's making sure that there's nothing illegal with his teammates in case there's a measurement called upon. Hey, you know what? That's great teamwork. I mean, that's, oh, yeah. that's contributing to the team. Yeah, players use three or four different sticks in a game, have that many ready. Again, the Devils use their training staff to measure their sticks. One measures, another one watches to make sure that they're within the limit of uh, uh, legal limit. Another blocked shot. 14 blocked shots in the game. This is icing on the Devils. 26 gone by in the third period. Randy McKay. Coley Campbell has done an outstanding job keeping his team ready, focused, and they've done an outstanding job. Mike Crispino's downstairs between the benches. Mike. Uh, Sam, a little adjustment between periods by the referee, Mark Fossett, asking that uh, the people here will tape over the camera lenses in the nets because uh, some of the players were saying it was a little distracting. So you'll see in the nets black tape and a black square over those single lens reflex cameras that are in those nets back to you thank you mike that's a sports illustrator i think radio control camera and it's toward the net he's bucked in front walton was being checked by thinking we can get a shot off the so hook tied up by thinking and who comes away with a puck and gets it to messier who gets it clear john chambers has it back is necessary and will be here in Madison Square Garden Tuesday night. I'll have it for you on MSG. Out of the zone. Lee to Gretzky. Gretzky against Niedemeyer. Captain away. Carpenter up the skate to the linesman. Marcus Seth gets to the box. Samuelson takes the hit, clears the zone. Big Kit Simpson hitting one or two people every single shift he's on the ice. And on the range of zone, Samuelson has it. Willie Garrett with only the one shot. That was a bad angle shot. Only two in the series. He needs to find his offense in a hurry for the Devils. A lot of it is confidence, John. He doesn't seem to have much. with the puck, looking for Garen. That's all waiting. Trying to get away from Lister. And nobody was open at there. Manico shot wide, and Simpson got knocked down in front. Driver missed it. Robitaille and Danico go for it. Danico blocks it, falls down. Lister takes over. And clears his own. Pressure's starting to build by the Devils as they spent some more time to range his own. Toward the net, block, bounces, blocked by Richter, rebound, Richter going, oh. look at the spin he did for post to post. How did that not go in? Mike oh. Richter finding the way. The puck was right near the goal line, and he didn't know where it was. Mike Richter at one skate at one post, the other at the other post. Portnall stopped by Niedemeyer, flatly trying to take it back. Niedemeyer moves it to Pandolfo. Yeah, you're right, we're six minutes in, and the, the play starting to be more in the Rangers zone than the Devils zone, as the Devils are crashing the net, they're sending people deep, short shifting, trying to up-tempo the play deep in the Rangers zone. Range leads Messier, offside, offside. On the play, 6-10, gone by in the third. It's the Mike Richter story. Now, this time, Niedermeyer moved in. He didn't really have the speed. He sort of slowed, got over the line. Now everybody goes to the net. Now, how does the puck not go in? Look at it. Oh, it was kicked wide by Eastwood. It was on the back check. And then Gilmore couldn't score. Watch Richter here. Oh, I know. See, the puck was in the crease and then back out. If the goal is scored, is Gilmore in the crease? Not one of those questions. You look, Gilmore turned. The puck's in the crease, but I think it went out. See, it's out. He's still in. Uh, I think he was pushed in. It may have counted if the puck had gone in. Here's Robitaille. Look at his skate. Look at his skate. That's the protective pad for his fracture that he had earlier in the season that covers the top of his foot. Tucked the skate with that under the blade. Like trying to drive with a flat tire. 
Leach. Now Bukaboom. SCA Graves and Seekin into the Rangers. Steven sends it the other way. Four hole Leach, who's blocked by Leach, who steps up nicely. Bukaboom drives it around the board. Steve Thomas is there to stop it. Thomas to Holy. He's staying with Bobby Holy. Bukaboom moves the puck to the near board. Sean Chambers taking it right up on him. In front, Bukaboom breaks it up. Thomas trickles it on goal. It's up by Richter. That Devil's big line trying to work the puck on the board, trying to find somebody open. So far, the Rangers haven't cracked. What I find interesting is the Devils have played this style of game for 82 regular season games in the playoffs, and they're good at it. The Rangers didn't play like this in the regular no. season. You never knew what you were going to get from them, but here in the playoffs, they have. Will they crack? Jacques Lemaire said yesterday the Rangers have elevated their game in the playoffs. He said the Devils are playing the same. They could play better. They uh, have to. And that was their coach saying that. That's right. That's a very interesting statement. Somebody, he needs a hero. He needs a hero big time. And he's got 13-15 here in the third period to try and find one. They need somebody to jump up and be a scoring a leader play. for them. Carpenter with Zella Pukin and Ralston. Chambers and Stevens. Sundstrom. Step on the ground. Stevens steps up. Stevens into the corner. Deflected. The Devils keep the puck in the zone like this. Sooner or later, they'll draw a power play. Lead to Gretzky. Carpenter against Sundstrom. Gretzky knocked down again, this time by Scott Stevens. Rangers keep it in the Devils zone. A over seven minutes gone by in the third. Rangers leading two to nothing. Goals by Adam Graves in the first. Wayne Gretzky in the second. He hits the water bottle. Richter plays it up the board. Rangers unable to clear. Niedermeyer knocked down Robitaille. Yeah, but his stick was held by Robitaille. And he got mad and swatted Robitaille in the mouth. That should have been a minor for each one of them. Danielson drops it off the glass and out of the zone. And this will be an icing on the Rangers. Touched by the Devils. 12-17 to go. Third period. Niedermeyer upset. His stick was held. He wanted a call. He's frustrated. A lot of frustration on the part of Scott Niedermeyer. Well, you see him try and get loose here, and Robitaille's got all of his sticks. And then Niedermeyer throws the right swat into Robitaille again. Watch Robitaille's got the stick up against his body. The one-on-one -on -one battle tonight. Devils are getting frustrated. Rangers are continuing to frustrate them. And there's Niedermeyer talking to the referee during the stoppage. Gretzky pointing there. The Rangers are getting into the Devils' heads. The head game's out. Driver's got the puck. Now Courtnall. Dave Ellis hit by Eastwood. Puck move by Lister to Courtnall. One on one with all line. He shoots wide. Around the board flatly. In front, broken up by Ellis. One move to the head for Garen. Now Ellis couldn't play it. Taken by Reed Simpson. like they did in third grade of, of game three. Rangers take it back for transition. Graves tied up nicely by Doug Gilmore. Puck put deep by Tikkanen. Game three, the 101 battles in the third grade, the Devils dominated. The 101 battles here in this third grade, not yet. Rangers much better. SEA with a giveaway. Back the other way, Gilmore. Gilmore with Pandolfo to the net goes Sean Chambers to Gilmore taken out by Bukaboom. Big play by Bukaboom. All the way down. Steven takes over. Comes from four checking. 10.45 to go in the third. McLean couldn't handle it. Steve Thomas back to get it. Gretzky world to tie in Suns from Suns from Fort Thomas time. Kept in by Niedermeyer. And cleared out. Sundstrom 
to Gretzky. He shoots. Save made by Brodeur on the low shot. Niedermeyer moves out with it. Under 10 minutes to go in the third period. Niedermeyer winds up and shoots high. A rocket, that was. Along the boards. Thomas with a hit. Driver away with a puck. 9.45 to go in the third. Driver sends it in on goal. That was a big dump in to the board trying to get Brodeur to move. Brodeur didn't go for the fake. Niedermeyer. Now Zelopokin across. Hook checked away nicely by Lindstrom. Shot by Chambers is blocked. By Carpenter, rather. And it's cleared out by Flatley for Eastwood. Driver has it back. Lister Reigns has maintained possession. Fans love it. Lister uh, stops playing. Nobody's played in their wife. I don't think. Was that the late offside? Yes, it must have been, Sam. Okay. The hit face off will be just outside the Rangers zone with 9.18 to go here in the third. Devils now have 34 shots, and they had 29, so they have had five here in the third. One or two of those very early in the period. And the Rangers, again, have been strong one-on-one. -on -one. The Devils trying to find a way to generate offense, but they're doing more chasing here in this third period than having possession of the puck. Devils shots on goal in this series. 34 in game one, 32 in game two, 35 in game three, and now 34 with 9.18 to go. They're on their way to a 40-shot game. And remember but, how but many... they haven't been able to score. And how many have been blocked? Uh, at least 14 blocks in this game. 15 now. Evan McGuire, statistician. Oh. his fingers in his toes. Oh, hit him. or not, Sam. I think he was going straight for the net, John. Oh, I, th I think he was going straight for the net, but the replay will tell us if he was pushed or not. Marty Brodeur has lost his helmet. Pekin, it looks like he's going to the penalty box, I think. Oh, well, maybe not. No, he's not, Sam. He may have been pushed. It was a two-on-one as the Rangers won the battle along the boards in the Rangers zone. Bookaboom was hit hard. The puck came out, a two-on-one. Brodeur made a good save, and then the big collision. No penalty handed out here. The Devils don't look to be upset. Now we have a penalty to Billy Garrett. Oh, but I'm more, more worried about Brodeur than anything else right now. He was knocked. His head is... He's woozy. It's a Garrett's got a misconduct. Misconduct to Garrett. That's a 10-minute misconduct, and he's gone for regulation time. And one minute into a potential overtime. Nobody at the Devils is upset. I'm not so sure that Tikkanen wasn't pushed into Brodeur. He was flying. John, he was flying on the two on one. The yes. he oh, I agree. Straight to the net. I agree with that. And what created the collision? Let's take a look. The Rangers won this one on one battle here along the boards. Puck comes out over the line. Now, Tikkanen is the man that has the puck. There he is. Watch him drive to the net. Let's see how he got there. Stevens with a little bit of a shove. Yeah. Stevens shoved him from behind. Tikkanen was off balance. You're supposed to do your best to move away from the net and not. And there he's going right in. He, he hit the goal post as much as he hit Brodeur, too. Stevens is over on the right side. He's hooked to Tikkanen. Tikkanen is looking for a rebound. He reaches for the bucket. There's the collision. Now, uh, I tell you what, in this, in watching that, if you're a Devils fan, you're going. He didn't stop. He didn't try to get out of the way. If you're a Rangers fan, you're saying he's off balance. And the collision there is he was pushed by Stevens. He also went into the goal post. Now, how did Brodeur, is it the leg of Tikkanen that knocked the helmet off? Yes, it was his right leg that knocked the helmet off of Brodeur, who seems to be okay. In your mind, is there any way Tikkanen could have avoided that, maybe gone into well, the net? We're seeing it in slow motion for yeah. one. Brodeur does a nice job. He had, what, six or eight feet to try and avoid the the play he had reached down to play the puck how do we get in minds of, of players it's very close Brodeur's all right thankfully no penalty handed out as the referee's judgment is that he was pushed in by scott stevens and billy garen is gone for the rest of regulation nine minutes to go in the third period rangers with a two nothing lead 
And the Devils they, have lost one of their top forwards. Now, this one is at normal speed, Sam. Let's watch and see if he can at a normal speed on the right side. See, he, 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 you've got a split yeah. second. He's pushed forward and off-balance by Scotty Stevens. I think the Devils, in watching it from the bench, knew what had happened, and they didn't overreact with the play. Right away, Tinkinen was worried in his own mind about getting a penalty, and Fossett watched it and said he was he was shoved from behind, and that's the reason the collision happened. Gretzky wins the faceoff. Parkinson gets to the puck. Now Chambers, 2-0. Rangers leading it, 8.50 to go on the third. Chambers pounded by Robitaille, almost turned it over. Robitaille gets Thomas. Thomas played it across to Scott Stevens and out. the 
quickly for both teams. Game five at the Meadowlands, Sunday afternoon on Fox at 2 o'clock. Five minutes to go in the third, and the Rangers' brilliant defensive play continues. Superb defensive play. Lidstrom, Gretzky, tapped it ahead. Chambers goes after it. Now Stevens comes back. Almost gave it right to Gretzky. Stevens has it. 440. I think the chance is boring, John. Boring. The excitement of the first two periods got everybody. Is it Marty? I don't know. I thought it was boring. Hooking, broke it up. Great defensive work by the Rangers. 4-10 to go. This will be a icing on the devil. The puck's heading into the New Jersey zone, and the Ranger fans love it. Delta Airlines' upcoming schedule looks like this. Sunday game 5 at New Jersey, 2 o'clock on Fox. If there's a game 6, Tuesday night right here at MSG on MSG. And if there's a game seven, it'll be Thursday night at New Jersey on Sports Channel. Devils have had six shots here in the third period. There's 4.07 to go. None of them have been odd man rushes, and none of them, I don't think, have been rebounds. This is Messier moving into the Devils' zone. Well, Dan will go with a good hit there. The New Jersey Devils have scored only four goals in this series. And two of them... Excuse me, one of them... Deacon in playing it back. The Devils are not, and one of the Devils goals on the power play. They, they need five on five scoring. They need even strength scoring. And the chances they've had, there's been a number. It's been on the shoulders of Mike Richter. That's the stick of Messier. 3.35 to go. Brodeur comes back on the ice. The 
Devils have given everything here. The Rangers have been even even better. I think the score shows. Scotty Stevens was just on the bench trying. Look at him. I mean, he's showing that this, this team's given everything. Dunstan is now, for some reason, going to the Rangers locker room. This team's trying. The Rangers won't crack. The Rangers have not cracked. John, there's been a dedication, a commitment to defensive play by yeah, the Rangers you know, in the playoffs that we haven't seen the entire season. Oh, Dunstan there got bumped into it, and he seemed to be limping as he tried to get off. Yeah, he's hurting there. Oh, yeah. Maybe winded, I don't know, but he's gone to the locker room. You know, and right now we had Mark Fossett on the, on the phone checking out the clock. There may be a second or two added on. It said 109. It was so loud in here that perhaps the whistle was not heard by the off-ice official, uh, officials who come from a different city, neutral officials. Two seconds have been added. From 109, it's now gone to 111. That's a sharp play by the referee, making sure. He had to make sure. So two seconds added on. Brodeur back in the goal as the faceoff will be in the neutral zone. Gilmore was the player who came off last time. This time he stays on there. The Devils only have four players on the ice. Now comes Stevie Thomas, who sat on the bench and got a little extra rest. The off-ice officials are from Hartford, or is that Carolina? Yeah. They are from Hartford. The Rangers make a late change as Buka Boom and Leach come back on the ice. 111 to go. Rodeur's up between the circles, ready to go to the bench. Messier, Graves, Tinkin, and Leach and Buka Boom for the Rangers. Gilmore, Thomas, Pandolfo, Odeline, and Ellis for the Devils. Rodeur to the bench. Extra skater on. Leach fires out to Messier. Tinkin it. Tough 
guy or two on the ice in case of. Goalie Campbell put his, some tough guys on the ice to counter. And then it got nasty, and on the on the stoppage, everybody started to go. All right, Simpson has been escorted off by the linesman. Now they've got to get the rest of the guys pulled apart. Karpov is bloody. He did all right for a guy that uh, doesn't fight, where Simpson is a pretty good scrapper. In fact, he's a real good scrapper. Eastwood is still uh, entangled with, I believe, Steve Thomas. Yeah. Good job. Simpson and Churla both skated around, hitting, banging, going at one another. Well, Samuelson heads off. Little pump to his teammate. The Ranger. players on the ice being sent off as the linesmen and uh, the officials do the good job. Well, Only Campbell it. looking at the Devils bench. In this particular game, it's been disciplined by the Rangers. And that'll be talked about, I'm sure, in the newspapers tomorrow. Disciplined by the Rangers have made the difference in this game. And for the Devils, they need more discipline Sunday. Some nutty fans, yeah, it's it's just some goofball came yeah. down in behind the bench. The security was ushered right out of, out of there. there. Yeah. Don't need any of that. Yelling at the players on the Devils bench. Jock Lemaire, churning inside, this no is, doubt. The Simpson ice, so there he and Turla met there. They'll meet again. The puck is even close to Turla on that play. Simpson and Turla, the two rugged guys, low the line stop. Now watch Simpson here. He goes to flatly. He doesn't fight. Carpenter pulls him off. Carbison's pulled down. Now watch. Everybody seems to separate, and Simpson's going to go around to try and find somebody. He just wanted anybody. Oh, that's, absolutely. Yeah, he just wanted oh, yeah. anybody. Uh, he, he's going to hear get away from the linesman. Now watch him just go to Carbison. He's standing there. Who can I get? Uh, okay, I'll get this guy. Boom, he hit him right on the beak. That's all. Oh, Carbison's got one on the beak, too. Carbison it up for himself. Yes. Carbison's jersey's not tied down. You see there. Or it doesn't appear to be. Maybe it is. I don't know. First ugly stuff we've yeah, seen in the series. That's right. Now, Churla, he did some running around and bumping, too. And in the they were opposite one another on the faceoff. Now, he threw a hit there into uh, Odeline. Reed Simpson got uh, five for fighting. Ten-minute misconduct, game misconduct. Boy, I hate to see those sticks get up there, too. Sure do. 20.8 seconds remaining in the game. See, when Simpson was put on the ice in the last minute here, you don't want your best players out there, and you don't want them right. injured late. So Jacques Lemaire did that. Coley Campbell countered with his top guy to go opposite Simpson, and he just knew it was like combustion. He knew something was going to happen. Jacques Lemaire almost has to put a tough guy out there, because if he doesn't, you don't want this as a series. You don't want one of your players banged around. Coley Campbell, if he was on the road, he would have put his tough guys on in the last minute if this was the same situation, Sam. It was one of these things that I think, in looking at it in hindsight, the referee should have grabbed a hold of even earlier. There was some hits that happened away from the puck earlier that should have been penalized, and maybe we wouldn't have had the, the minor brawl at the end. All five Rangers get 10-minute misconduct. Cecil, Thomas, Ellen, no line 10-minute misconduct. Simpson got the five for fighting 10-minute uh, misconduct and a game misconduct. Uh, it ends obviously up being showing that Simpson was the man who started it all. With 20.8 seconds to go, Simpson puts the team down and for five minutes. The power play simple. for the Rangers, yeah. And uh, this is, you know what? People are going to say this was nasty. This was nothing compared to the seventh when the old Philadelphia Flyers and the old New York Rangers used to go. It just wasn't seen as much. The TV cameras weren't as good in those old days, Sam. I mean, it was something back in those days. Well, 
the hockey was as good. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. good. These athletes are much better nowadays and much faster and much bigger. I think now the focus is gone for the Devils. Can they get over the frustration got that's to, built up for them? They, to they, focus on yeah. the, the next game. They've got to stop worrying about referees. Yeah. They've got to play their game, get the lead. That's hurt them. The Rangers have gotten the lead in three straight games and won all three. And the Devils have worried about the officiating too much. The teams are very close to even in the amount of power plays they've had. Part of their frustration has been their inability to break through on Mike Richter. They have not been able to score and it has hurt their confidence badly. Richter goes after the puck. Ten seconds to go in the game. Richter holding. Five seconds to go. And the New York Rangers have a 3-1 lead in the series. against the devil look at the numbers since the expansion mike richter behind only ken dryden and patrick waugh that's the 16th 16th the shutout in the playoffs that ties the record ties the nhl, the NHL record. record and there's still over two rounds to go that's how good the goaltending and lack of scoring the goaltending has been phenomenal in the playoffs for mike richter he had a very 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 strong game so did Wayne Gretzky in the second period. Credit the Rangers in the third period with a masterful defensive job holding the Devils to just six shots on goal. When the Devils and, needed to, and to put on the charge to come the back. Devil, the Devils had the charge early. The first five or six minutes, the Devils were pretty good. They got shot. But then the Rangers didn't crack. And the Devils forced and tried and forced and tried. The Devils tried and forced. The Rangers wouldn't crack defensively. And Mike Richter didn't have a tough time of it in the third period at all. Adam Graves, power play goal in the first period, third star. Wayne Gretzky, almost every night he's been a star. Number two tonight, and the number one star with 35 saves, number 35. He has been brilliant in the playoffs. And the Rangers now have a commanding 3-1 right lead in the series which goes to New Jersey for Sunday afternoon. And Rangers shut out the Devils. Three to nothing. Back with our post-game wrap-up right after this. The Rangers have a commanding 3-1 lead in the best of seven Eastern semifinal with the New Jersey Devils on the strength of Mike Richter's 3-0 shutout. That's what Tekin and joins us. An empty netter for him. Six goals in nine games. You've really come alive in the postseason. Did you sense the frustration of the Devils? Obviously, in the last minute, they took it out on you guys. But uh, as the game wore on, I saw them coming to the bench time after time, just shaking their heads, saying, why can't we penetrate these guys? Well, I think uh, our team working hard, and uh, that's the key right now. Uh, we have a 20 guys who are working together, and uh, we try to do the right things, and uh, everything going our way. So we don't have to worry about what they're doing. We have to worry about ourselves, and uh, that's the way we have to play. They didn't have a lot of great chances, but every time they did, Mike Richter was up to the task. 35 saves for him. When you have a goaltender, hot as he is, behind you, does that lift your confidence to, to the ultimate level almost? Well, that's lift the whole team, uh, especially, uh, you know, in the fourth. Uh, they know at the first shot he's going to stop, and uh, then defense clear, clear in the front of net. So that's going to help everybody. And, uh, you know, Mike been doing a great job, and that's what we needed in the playoff, win the game. You know, once again, you get the first goal, and every time you've done that, you guys have won games, 6-0 uh, and oh now in the postseason. Uh, obviously, the other team is trying to score the first goal. The Devils did that all year long. Is it just that you're outplaying them to open these games, and that's how you're scoring the first time? Well, I think uh, today, especially the power play coming, uh, we did a great shot. They moved the puck uh, in the point and get a shot in the net. And, uh, you know, the first goal, Craig made it in the front of the net. That's what we needed. Uh, that's what's big for us. And, uh, you know, every time uh, another team has to open up after that, and uh, that's uh, right in our game plan. There was a point in the game where you got shoved into Martin Brodeur and he fell down. He was down on the ice for a few moments. I know you weren't trying to injure him and the Devils knew it too, I think. We're going to go back and see. You've had some confrontations with Brodeur down through the series. We're going to go back and take a look in uh, game two and tell me what's going on between you two. Well, we are good friends, but uh, this is playoff game right <laughs> now, but, uh, you know, everything's going on and, uh, you know, I try to, you know, get in front of him and uh, try to talk to him off the game and uh, that's a big for us and uh, I think the uh, whole team will be going front of the net and uh, try to win the game that way. 
Yeah, you. when he goes behind the net, you try to just kind of get into some physical competition. Now, were you pushed there? It looked like to me you were. Uh, Stevens uh, came me two hundred behind, and, uh, you know, I just uh, tried to avoid him, and uh, he right in the front of me, and, uh, and I can't do nothing. I had the speed, and I could have stopped there, but, uh, you know, those happen, and uh, I never tried to hurt anybody nice, and uh, that's the game when we have to live. Yeah, whatever you're doing, you're doing it well against Martin Brodeur. He's 3-10 and 3 career here at Madison Square Garden. Let's look ahead for a minute now. Game 5, you know they're going to be playing. It's sudden death for them now. What do you expect from the Devils on Sunday? I think this has been a hard game, and uh, we have to keep it posting. And uh, I think uh, right now our, our team is playing well, and uh, we have to do exactly what we're doing in the home. We have to play tight defensively, and uh, then we see what's happening in the offensively. And uh, that's what the team and the key in uh, our hockey club, and uh, hopefully we can do it in the Sunday. Tell me about the final minute of that game. From your perspective, we were all standing there watching. The Devils come on, and it looked like they were trying to obviously get you out of your game and throw a few punches and beat you around a little bit to send maybe a message. Is that what happened? That's, uh, you know, every time it's part of the game, and uh, especially in a playoff, you know, in uh, every time somebody, you know, running you, you have to take it. And that's that's a key in the playoff. You have to just turn around and uh, play hard when the whistle going. And, uh, you know, it's, it's our team is... Uh, Right now, we're standing together, and uh, that's a big part of our hockey stuff. You know, one thing I noticed in this, and this is a final question for you, it looked to me like the Devils, who were number one team in the Eastern Conference regular season, were blowing their cool a little bit, yelling at the referee, complaining about calls, and then getting after you physically in the final minute of the game. When you get a team down 3-1, is that something that's bound to happen? Well, uh, I think so. You know, it's, uh, sometimes referees make it bad calls, but, uh, you know, it's both ways right now. Uh, referees can be bad calls, but... Uh, our penalty killing is be working hard, and uh, that's been in a big part of our hockey club. And uh, I think if we can, you know, shut it them down, and we have a chance to win. All right, that's a ticket, and thanks much. That's true. The penalty killing doing a great job for the Rangers throughout the series. Now let's go to Jacques Lemaire and his press conference.